Hi everyone, I'm Rob from the Geelong Jail Museum in Geelong. But today, I'm at the old convict jail on Cockatoo Island in Sydney Harbour. Wacko, what a place this is to explore. Now what we're looking at here is the original part of the jail that opened in 1839. Wacko. Now this little room here we're walking into is the original kitchen. The kitchen where they would cook for the convicts. Look at this small space. The amazing sandstone carved from the island by convicts and the sandstone floor and what's left of where the chimney would have been to actually do the cooking. This is history at its finest and so exciting. Now this part of the jail was built and it was built to house 300 convicts. Convicts that were returning from Norfolk Island but also convicts that were re-offending here in New South Wales. Wacko, 300 men were housed here. It was built to house 300 convict men, but at its absolute height, we had 500 convict men crammed in this jail. Now the room we're just entering here is exciting. This is one of the dormitory rooms. This is where the men were locked at night. Wacko, imagine being locked in here. Now you can see the windows are really high and it's impossible to see out once you're in here. But you can also imagine too, no glass. So being in Sydney Harbour, just imagine what it would have liked, been like here in winter. And directly under where we're standing here are the dark cells. Yeah, that's right. There are dark cells at this jail for offending prisoners. Convict men that repeatedly, repeatedly broke the rules, run amok, were actually locked underground. But if we walk out here, we're coming out into the main courtyard of the jail. This is an area where muster would be done, men could be counted, and all the day-to-day -day stuff of the jail. But the building down the corner there, this beautiful looking sandstone building, is the mess hall. This is where the convict men would have eaten. If we're looking at the other side of the courtyard, this is the surgery and the hospital wards. There is a small kitchen in the middle, and then you've got the hospital wards down this side. And over through this door is more dormitory space for the convict men. So if we spin around, what you're actually looking at is a complex to hold 300 convict men. But at its absolute height, its absolute push, they could fit 500 men in this small area. Wacko. This is incredible. Now, if you are into convict history, if you are into early colonial crime and justice, this is a must. You need to come to Cockatoo Island and have an explore. This is early colonial crime and justice in Australia at its absolute best. You can catch the ferry out here and you can wander around and take as much time as you need to explore. And of course, you can even camp here. Wow, imagine spending the night in an old convict jail in Sydney Harbour. Life does not get much better. Wacko. Thanks, guys.